Hey everybody, this is Joe with 4th Avenue Entertainment coming at you from my brand new place. I actually now have a studio type area in my house to go ahead and do uh, my modeling, spend my time down here, uh, make videos now, finally. So hopefully I'll be bringing out more content. I know I've been away from the YouTube thing for a while and... Uh, it's again, it's just life happening that I have to put as a priority before I make videos. So that's why I've been gone. But this is gonna be the first of hopefully new videos now that I have a dedicated space in my house um, for modeling, making videos, things like that. Uh, quick tour all it is is just basically an air hockey table that I have my um, cutting mat on. And there's my big Warhammer poster. And there's some of that. And then there's my new diorama that I'm going to take to the fair this year. Hopefully that works out well. And along with this uh, video, um, I'm also going to do, aside from telling you that directly to my left is a four shelf. Uh, contraption that's got my paints, my other models, everything I need to do my job. I'm going to do a unboxing and review of the Warhammer 40k. Nice and pretty. Stormhawk Interceptor. It's one miniature. I bought this to kind of complete my Ultramarines army and it was just nicely priced. So, and I like flying vehicles anyway, so that'll work. Now, I will tell you this. I'm not actually going to make the Interceptor. As you can see on the box, there's the Interceptor there. Interceptor there. Interceptor there. But on the back, you can also make it a Storm Talon. With a little pilot right there. This is what I'm actually going to make, which is what you see right there. So... And then here is the different weapon modifications you can have. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do more this where this is. And I'm not going to go do like a step by step by step. I'm going to show you how to put it all together and stuff. I'm just going to go and do bits and chunks and then f make a video saying what I actually did and then things that I liked I didn't like because... Again, you need to do what you want to do with all your models, whether it be Gundam, Warhammer, anything. You need to do you. But maybe something that I can do will be helpful to somebody else. So that's why I'm making these videos. So, Storm Talent, this. Okay, so when you open the box, you'll get your tray of stuff that comes with very nicely detailed instructions and I only got through this page yesterday and I'll tell you something about the assembly of just this stuff right here first in a minute and then there's my nippers you get a nice big base now the thing you notice is there's no hole so with this stand after I get it clipped off and sanded down and nice and smooth you gotta glue it. Okay, you just gotta remember this one here, you gotta glue. And then it comes with three. Oh, here's the canopy for my gunship. Comes with three sprues with all the parts. Now, I do notice that I'm not gonna be using a lot of these parts. A lot of the parts are gonna be for the interceptor. Other parts are going to be for the gunship. But I am going to go ahead and save all the spares in my little spare container here. So we'll figure that out. But along with that, you also get, which is not in here. I think I put it off to the side. And that's my chair. I apologize. No, nope, I left it out. You also get a sticker sheet that's going to depict what your um, 
the numbering and letters and faction of your gunship will be similar to this here which was in the imperium box that you got as a, a starter one in my recruit my command edition i got this big huge sticker sheet you get something similar to this so this i got at my local warhammer store which is a games workshop store and I really like the look of it. I do like flying vehicles. So I picked it up and I started on it yesterday, Mother's Day. So first of all, happy Mother's Day late for any mothers out there. Hope you had a wonderful day. So I went ahead and put it together. Now, this right here feels very nice and solid. Especially since you got to practically glue everything together. It doesn't feel like it's light or falling apart or anything like that. So that's good. Now, I will say this. Here in the instructions, you know, it has you putting on arms, the arms and everything, after you set him in the cockpit. What I actually did was I actually assembled my pilot figure. I'll set those right there. I actually assembled my pilot figure fully and then painted him and then looked over these and figured out, okay, so excluding this part here, which this part here is all one piece. And then there's the other side. You can see the seam line right there. This cockpit area, I painted him. I painted the pilot. I painted this part here, this part here, and I painted these things separately and then glued them all together. And then I even painted the inside of the uh, cockpit there. And I know it's kind of hard to see and I apologize, but yeah, see like I got silver dots and whoop, sorry about that focus and the green screen stuff like that. Just a little bit added stuff, but that's neither here nor there. But I would say if you're doing these for the very first time, just like I am, I've never built one of these before, I would say look over your instructions, especially if you have to fit a pilot in or put something inside of something else and do all that work first and put it in at that time and then glue everything around it. Because like when you go online to try to find like, how do you paint an interceptor? How do you paint a storm talent? Things like that. They have the whole thing all put together already with their black base coat or this here is the McCrag blue spray paint that I have, which actually goes on very nice and clean. And then they'll paint everything around it. And then all this detail on the inside yeah, some, some people might want to do that. Me, I don't have the patience nor the skill to try to get a paintbrush into those little nooks and crannies trying to paint this guy, especially when his feet and his legs don't even show. But I, but I promise you, this whole thing is this crimson red, this cherry red. And then I just did the chrome silver uh, highlights on his body. So, again... Yeah, they may show you the instructions and online they may tell you, yeah, spray paint the whole thing and then we'll start doing all the detail work later. Don't do that. Do what will be easiest for you to have you enjoy it. Um, but like I said, I'm so far enjoying this build. I'm really liking it. I now have, I built the guns and the booster rockets. Now it's just building the wings and then the arm armaments on the front here, and then I'll be done. And so hopefully within the next couple of days, I'll be able to take it out for a game or two. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just stop the video here. Um, Got to re-glue this. Yeah, glue didn't stick very nicely on this one here. I might have to super glue it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. 
Um, I'll go ahead, I'll make some more pieces, get them painted and everything. And then I'll probably go through the assembly process, especially of the wings, just to show that and maybe glue this part down. And then maybe do the, the panel lining and the touch-ups around for a couple of videos like that. And then call that one and then we'll move on to maybe even filming like a small game or move on to a Gundam or things like that. So, so this is why I have my own little studio set down here so I can start making videos again and showing you how much I enjoy doing this. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. If you wanted to give me a ranking of this, I would probably give it a definite buy, especially if you're playing the Ultramarines. If you're more of a modeler, like you buy them just for the model for a display piece, I would say definitely do so because there's a lot of customization that you can do, especially with all the armaments and how you want to configure everything, especially also even the colors. You don't even have to paint it this color. You can paint it whatever you want. So I would probably give this about an 8 out of 10. So until next time, everybody go ahead. Have a wonderful day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you handsome young man. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, you beautiful, beautiful woman. And everybody have a wonderful time and stay safe. And we'll see you next time here on 4th Avenue Entertainment.